The Four Cows There lived four cows near a jungle. They were all very good friends. A jackal, who was living in that jungle, was very eager to taste their flesh. So he thought, first I should do something to put an end to their unity. As planned, he met each cow spreadly and said, Hello friend, do you know that your other three friends have decided to go to another field where there are a lot of grains? Hearing this, all the cows became very angry. Is that so? How can they do this to me? I will go to the field before they reach there, said each cow and went there. A lion, who was also waiting for this chance, pounced at them and killed them one after the other and ate them up. Now the jackal happily had his feast. Moral Unity is Strength The Clever Crow It was a beautiful morning. Bolu, as usual, went out in search of food. As it was nearing midday, it was becoming very hot. Oh, I am feeling very thirsty, said Bolu, and started searching for water. He searched for water everywhere, but could not find. Oh God, what shall I do now? I am feeling very tired, said Bolu. Yes, there is a pot there, he said, and flew to the pot. Ah, there is water. Let me drink, said Bolu, and pierced his beak into the pot, but he could not reach it. Clever Bolu thought for a while. Yes, I have an excellent idea, he said, and started picking up small stones from around the place and dropped them one by one into the pot, till the water rose up. Soon the water came up. He drank the water and flew away happily. Moral, never give up your effort. The Greedy Dog Nicky was a cute little dog. He was very naughty. One day, he was on his way to meet a friend. As soon as he crossed a bridge, he found a fleshy bone. He was very fond of bones. He picked up the bone and said, Hey, I have got my favorite dish and started walking back home. While he was walking on the bridge, he peeped into the water, where he saw another dog holding a bone in his mouth. Nicky was very greedy. He said, I want that bone too. Somehow, I will have to get it from him, and started to shout at the other dog to frighten him. When he opened his mouth to shout, the bone in his mouth slipped into the water. As he was greedy, he could not think that it was his own reflection and not another dog. Now, he lost his favorite dish too. Moral Be happy with what you have. Two Silly Goats In a small village, there were two goats called Rinku and Tinku. They were good friends, but they were also very silly. They would always fight with each other for a petty things. As usual, one day they were playing near a bridge. While playing, they met each other on either sides of the bridge. The bridge was so narrow that they could not pass each other. Rinku said, I will cross the bridge first. Tinku said, no, I will cross the bridge first. Now each of them wanted to be the first to cross the bridge. So they began to fight again. The silly goats kept on fighting till they both fell into the water and were drowned. Moral Foolishness is always punished. Lion and the Mouse The little mouse, Looney, was very mischievous. He would always run around and play. One day, as usual while he was jumping up and down and playing around, 
he missed his grip and fell on a big lion who was sleeping there. Grr, the lion roared at him. He was very angry. He caught Looney in his hand and said, Hey, little mouse, I am going to eat you now. Looney became very scared. With a shivering voice, he said, Oh, dear uncle, forgive me this time. I will never disturb you again. I will help you in the time of your need. The lion felt pity for the tiny creature. So he freed Looney and thought, What help can this small mouse do to me? After some days, Looney heard a loud voice crying for help. He was shocked to see the lion in the grip of a hunter's net. Immediately, he ran to the place and cut the net with the help of his teeth and saved the lion. Moral No one is too small or too weak to help another. The Monkey's Justice One day, two cats found a piece of bread. One of them jumped at it and picked it up. Another one tried to snatch it from her. The first cat said, It is my piece of bread. I was the first to pick it up. The other cat said, But I saw it first and so it is mine. While they were arguing with each other, a monkey passed them by. The cats requested him to act as a judge and settle their quarrel. The monkey too agreed. Give me the piece of bread, he said, and make two parts of the bread. Then he shook his head and said, These two parts are not equal. One is bigger than the other. So he ate a bit of the bigger part. But again, the parts were not equal, so he ate a bit from that too. This went on till two small bits were left. Now he said, How can I give such a small bit to both of you? And ate them up too. The poor cats now understood that a third person always gains when two of them quarrel. Moral when two quarrel, a third one always gains. Hare and the Tortoise In a beautiful forest, there lived lots of animals. Every day, they would all meet under a big mango tree. They also played lots of games. One day, they planned to conduct a race between a hare and a tortoise. All the animals gather at the place to see the race. The monkey, who was the leader, shot the gun and both the hare and the tortoise started to run. The hare ran off very fast. Soon the tortoise was left far behind. I am sure to win the race. Let me take a little nap before the tortoise comes. He said and laid down on the grass but he overslept. The tortoise kept on walking slowly and soon passed the hare. When the hare woke, he saw that the tortoise was already at the winning post. Moral Slow and steady wins the race. The Clever Capsular Raju was a poor capsular. One day, as usual, he was selling his caps in a small village. He was feeling very tired, so he dropped the bundle of caps and slept under a big tree. While he slept, the monkeys who lived on the tree came down, opened the bundle of caps and wore them. After some time, the capsular awoke. He was shocked to see the bundle empty. He searched for the caps here and there. Finally, when he looked up, he found that the monkeys were wearing his caps. Finally, when he looked up, he found that the monkeys were wearing his caps. He shouted at them, Hey monkeys, those caps are mine. Please give them. The monkey shouted back at him. This gave him an idea. 
he immediately threw his own cap on the ground. All the monkeys took off the caps from their head and threw them on the ground. The cap seller collected his caps, tied his bundle and went away happily. Moral There is always a way for every difficulty. The Clever Donkey It was a hot summer. A lion was drinking water in a river. He saw a donkey drinking water on the other side of the river. Yes, my lunch is ready for today. I should now plan to make him my prey, said the lion. He turned to the donkey and asked, Oh, Mr. Donkey, are there any horses on your side of the river bank? I wish to hear them sing. The donkey, not knowing the lion's wicked plan, said, Sir, if you don't mind, let me sing a song for you. He closed his eyes and started braying. The lion at once pounced at the donkey. The donkey was very clever. He said, Sir, I am ready for your lunch. But I have heard that strong and powerful lions pray to God before their lunch. As the lion considered himself as the most powerful animal, he closed his eyes for prayer. The donkey immediately slipped from the lion's grip. The lion was fooled by an intelligent and clever donkey. Moral Presence of mind is the greatest power. The Fox and the Crow Looney the fox was very hungry. He was searching for food everywhere. At last, he saw a crow sitting on a tree with a piece of cheese in its mouth. He wanted to take the cheese from the crow. What do I do now? How will I cheat him? he said. Suddenly, an idea struck him. He looked at the crow very pleasantly and said, Hey crow, you look very beautiful. Can you sing a song for me? I am sure your voice will also be very sweet. The crow became very happy. She opened her mouth immediately to sing a song. But the cheese in her mouth fell down. The fox immediately picked up the cheese, ate it up and ran away. Moral Foolish pride always has a fall. The Two Beggars In a small village, there lived two beggars called Ramu and Somu. They used to sit in front of a temple to beg for money and food. Ramu was blind. He could not see. Somu was lame and so he could not walk. One day, a rich man came there and said, Dear friends, I have arranged a big feast in my house. I request you all to come there and have your lunch. Ramu and Somu were very excited. But they cannot go anywhere without the help of others. So they were worried. Ramu came with an idea and said, Somu, I will carry you on my back and you show me the way. Somu too felt that this was a great idea. So Ramu carried Somu on his back and both of them went to the feast and enjoyed the excellent food. Both were very happy. Moral We must always help one another. The Two Crows There were two crows, Bolu and Kolu. They often fight to prove their superiority. Bolu said, I am superior to you as I am huge when compared to you. Kolu said, no, I am superior to you as I am elder than you. They decided 
to pass a challenge so as to decide who was better. One who could fly higher with a bag and beak filled with something would be decided as superior. Kolu was a mean crow. He put cotton balls in his own bag and salt in Bolu's bag. Then the two crows took a flight. Soon Kolu was flying higher than Bolu as he was carrying lighter weight. But Bolu was unable to gain more height due to heavy weight. As the crows were flying, it started to rain. The cotton balls soaked in water and became heavier. On the other hand, the salt got dissolved, making Bolu's bag very light. Now, Bolu was flying higher than Kolu. Thus, Bolu won the challenge. Moral Cheaters will always be losers. The Ugly Tree There was a large forest. A number of trees grew there. There were mango, teak, oak, shisam, neem, banyan and peepal trees. Among them, there was one tree which had a crooked trunk. It looked ugly in front of the other trees. The other trees used to tease him. You are an ugly tree. The poor tree would think. Why did God make me ugly? Why can't I be like the other trees? One day, a woodcutter came to the forest. He saw the crooked and ugly tree and thought, This crooked tree is of no use for me. I'll cut the trunks of the other straight trees. So he cut down all the trees except the crooked tree. Now the crooked tree thought, God does everything for good. My ugliness saved my life. We should never blame God for our troubles. Moral There is always a reason behind everything.